What is going on guys? Today, we're going over the top five flies for nymphing that I always have every time I leave the house. Whether you're a seasoned veteran or a beginner, these are five flies that no matter what, whenever I'm going fishing on a river, I will have these when I'm fishing for trout. Make sure you guys stick with it to the end of this video to see what my number one pick is. We'll throw in some honorable mentions in there, but we're gonna go right on into the video with number five being the San Juan worm. San Juan worms are fantastic, whether you are fishing freestone rivers or tailwaters. After a rainstorm, those worms are coming out and they are coming out in numbers. I have had many days on the rivers where just because I have the salmon worm in my box, I will catch loads more fish than I would have if I didn't have it in my box. There are a few different colors of San Juan that work. So just because you might not have the exact color of the worm in the water doesn't necessarily mean that you're not gonna have a successful day using that fly. It is very universal as well. You can use them from California to Vermont. They work just fine. The San Juan is usually a fly that I use if nothing else is working. It's flashy, it's bigger than a lot of the flies. So if you don't know what's going on in a river, a lot of times I go with the sandworm worm. If it doesn't work after a few casts, I'll always switch it out. But sometimes you can figure out the bite really quick using a San Juan. Coming in at number four, we've got caddis pupas. They are absolutely deadly. To figure out if there are even caddis in the water, it's easy. Do what most fly fishermen do, you pick up a rock, you turn it over and you eat, inspect what's on the bottom of that rock, whether it be uh, PMD nymphs, whether it be scuds, whether it be leeches, anything. If you look on the bottom and you see caddis pupa, we'll pop a picture up right here. If you see caddis pupa on the bottom, then you know there's caddis pupa in the water, they're gonna be in the column somewhere and the fish are going to be eating them. A lot of times if fish are being really picky, a lot of times I find that they're keyed in on these caddis. And if you have them in your box, and you don't know what's going on, and then all of a sudden, boom, the fish start biting like crazy, a lot of times it can turn a really bad day with picky fish into a great day when you have the perfect fly. And for me personally, it has produced some of the biggest fish of the year. An absolute giant. Oh man. Coming in at number three, we've got scuds. Man, are they like jelly beans for trout. Not only because they are the size and kind of shape of a jelly bean, but also because the fish eat them like crazy. Grassy tailwaters are an incredible place for them. They are also in most streams everywhere. Same thing as the caddis pupas. You can simply pick up a rock. You know, a lot of times scuds do cling onto that grass if you're in a grassy river, but they're also under those rocks if it's a less grassy river. So no matter what kind of river you're on, grassy, rocky, you're gonna be able to flip those rocks, check it out, and if you see scuds, just like you, if you see caddis pupa, you put one on there, and that is my number three spot, just because it is very consistent, a very easy fly to use, and a very easy fly for the fish to see. You're throwing an orange or gray flashback scud. These fish key in on it from across the river, and they'll dart across the river to just eat your scud. Coming in at number two, we've got the pheasant tail, whether it has a bead head or not. Just like the caddis, just like the scuds, flip a rock, check out uh, if there is a, just like caddis, just like scuds, you can flip over rock, check and see if you see those PMD nymphs crawling around, you should know they're in the water column and that the fish are eating them. Simply put PMDs, and pheas pheasant tails specifically that are mimicking those PMD uh, pupa, they catch fish more than almost every type of fly in your box. That is a go-to fly that I use almost in every single river, every single day that I'm fishing. So if you don't have these in your box, it is taking away a whole category of bug that these fish are constantly eating and that are so popular in so many rivers across uh, pretty much the world, really gonna get into a couple honorable mentions here if you've used it you know how effective it can be the copper John is absolutely fantastic another one come springtime when the betas are hatching and those blooming olives are coming off if you know what that means even if you don't the Pertagon is an incredible fly for the spring and summer alike they can get the job done 
through all seasons, fish constantly are looking for that form of bug, which is why I give Pertagon an honorable mention. Thank you guys for making it this far in the video. We're gonna get into number one. Number one fly that I keep in my box, no matter what, I probably have a hundred different versions of these. It is the zebra midge. Whether it's purple, brown, black, white, any color zebra midge gets the job done in any river, anywhere. There are always midges hatching, no matter where you're fishing. There's always fish eating midges, no matter where you're fishing. They catch the most fish by far out of any fly in my box. Every single day I am casting a zebra midge, whether it's a big one, whether it's a small one in the winter time, they will get the job done no matter where you are, and that is why it is the most reliable fly for me. If you guys end up going to a new river and don't know what to fish, these are my five favorite flies that I keep in my box at all times and that I cast pretty much every time I'm fly fishing. I'm not gonna say you're gonna catch a fish every single time you're fishing because I don't, nobody does. It's fly fishing, it's fishing for a reason. That's why they call it fishing, not catching. But if you guys want an upper hand, use these five flies, go pick them up at your local fly shop, tie a few of them up yourselves if you know how. Leave your top five flies in the comments. If you agree, if you disagree, if you'd rearrange my order, if you have any experience, let me know. Thank you guys as always for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to this video and check out some of the more on my channel. Later.